I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars for July Cancer. Now, let's have a look at your personal life, which is fabulous because you've got Venus there, which is the planet of love and money and re relationships and romance in your second house m most of the month. Okay, now the second house is all is it is it governs Venus governs the second house so it is about love and money in this house but when it comes to relationships you want to be careful that you're not being possessive okay so independent certainly but don't let that sense of independence just creep over to be uh, a little bit of jealousy and possessiveness there so that's what you have to watch out with and also that money issues don't creep into a relationship. I mean, I, we say love and money are the two things that make the world go round because we need it, both of them. But you want to keep it in perspective as well, okay? Now, um, it's a good time for you to promote yourself too. So if, you, if you're looking for love or, you know, you're looking for a relationship, then make sure that you have your package together. And one thing is to do your love list, which is probably what I advised you to do last month. But the other thing is you then want to sort of look at the style of person that you want to attract and then ask yourself, are you the type of person that your ideal wish list love mate would be attracted to okay so, so it goes both ways so love is a two-way street so um, it goes both ways and also you should never underestimate your value so really get in your mind what you have to offer not just what someone else is offering okay that's very very important your self value when we look at the second house as well okay so it should be a nice month love-wise for you. So let's go on and have a look at your more professional area of life. So Jupiter is going to enter your sign late June on the 26th. Now Jupiter is known as the planet of abundance and expansion. I like to call it the lucky planet. Um, and it's going to there, transit there and stay for a one year period, okay? So 12 months, give or take a week or, a week or two. So it's like a lucky time where life can fall into place. So if things have been a little bit, you know, tough over the last few years and it's been building up to this point and now it's almost like you can be in the right place at the right time for things to magically fall into place. Now, early in the month, there's an opposition between the sun and, and Pluto, sun in your sign, Pluto in your opposite sign. So be careful of this. It can set up like a power struggle with um, relationships that you have with people that are in authority, okay? So um, don't try to, you, you probably don't want to try to uh, break the rules too much you could sort of come a, come up against a, an opposition there now Uranus in your career zone does go retrograde on the 18th so if you've got changes that you want to initiate good to get them set early in the month because Uranus is like the master of um, planet of change so and and sudden change so around about that third week if you don't have things sort of set the way you want it then they can the sands can shift a little bit now my angel advice for this month is the new moon in your sign so it's your annual new moon on the 8th so this is the beginning of your next 12 month solar cycle and it's a great time just to get your goals set and you know work out where you are where you want to be how you're going to get there and send those wishes out to the universe okay and now your lucky numbers i've put four down here so it's left room for you to put your own few numbers in there and that's 2 8 14 and 22. have a great month cancer thanks for watching i'm jennifer angel